Hi Scorpio, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always check what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of November, as usual, I have a special sales offer available. And for this month, it's inspired in your own current season, Scorpio. Um, and it's a reading that's themed upon love uh, matters and for this mid-month I'm going to focus the reading also on matters of love and relationships so as always just take with you what makes sense and what is um, resonant resonating in, into your own experiences right now so Scorpio I do feel that <clears throat> in matters of love there seems to be um, a cycle of completion that many of you are um, experiencing right now. So no matter if you're single, if you are dating, if you have a committed partnership, if you just have someone specific in mind, a person of interest where things are not yet, you know, developed, I do feel like this time... And as we move deeper into the end of the year as well, it's all about soul searching and reflection upon what um, your current feelings are, your current needs, your current expectations, and even the letdowns and the fears and the insecurities you've been through. It's like it's all coming up together. It's almost like there's a pile of feelings and situations that are all summoning, you know, like they're all piling themselves up into something for an awareness to take place, that it's important for you to be free from a cycle that has been unfulfilling and moving to a, another that could be um, much balanced and much more um, fair to you. I feel like there has been situations here for some of you Scorpios where relationships haven't really been as fair or as easy as just as you would like them to be there seems to be a dynamic within your own relationships where things have been very again unfair so either there has been a lot of um a lot of taking from you or there has been um a lot of there's something here about situations where you have been left to deal with consequences and 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 things that were not made by you so there seems to be this this feeling of you were left to pick up other pe other people's pieces or other people's problems or other people's issues and there seems to be something about the partners of your choice that have with them this dynamic this energy themselves where they bring a lot of problems into your life for some reason so you could deal with complicated troubled uh personalities you know people that have difficult things going on in their own lives and as you commit to them or as you deal with them it's almost like you take their issues also as your own and i feel like there has been some lessons le you have been learning when it comes to that when it comes to separating the waters and um, putting proper boundaries in what is your what is yours and what is of your partners or your persons of interest what is really up to you um, to deal with and what isn't uh, because I feel like for some uh, Scorpios you are then you do so much you take on so much it's like you fight your your person's battles in a way, in a sense. And then when things don't work out or when the relationship falls apart again, you feel wrong. You feel that uh, taken advantage of. You feel like uh, it's not fair. Obviously, you feel like you've done so much and this person, you know... Um, or, or when you when you need help, or when you show a side to you that needs that assistance, that needs that, you know, fighting spirit to come forward. Maybe the person you have been dealing with, or the people in general you have been dealing with, don't seem to be able to do that for you. So there's a sense of you coming towards um, 
an energy of closure about what has been so you can move forward into what will be with much more promise of things being right and being fair. Now, for some of you Scorpios, some of you might be dealing with a separation because you also have here the Hermit. So I feel like even for Scorpios that are currently in committed relationships, you and your partner might be distant. There might be an emotional distance here. There might be problems getting in the way of the connection. So it feels like, especially during mid-November, there needs just to be this space, this distance that takes place. So you and your partner come, come to alignment and come to realize, you know, if you want to continue to give this to this relationship or if you want to break free from it, because I feel like there's a lot to consider. Uh... And other other Scorpios, um, if you're dealing with someone specific and you wonder about this connection, mid-November, it's a time of evaluation and reflection. So there might not be, you know, great things, amazing, exciting things happening. But behind the scenes, as you are by yourself and as your person of interest is by yourself, they're doing a lot of reflection upon what's next when it comes to the relationship. I feel like for Scorpios that have recently met someone or you're dealing with a new connection both you and your person are wrapping up past issues so it's like you're freeing yourselves from a lot of past energy and so i feel like you and the person you're dealing with are actually wise enough to know that for now it's best to maybe have things you know more um it's like it's best for, for things to be more apart because you're not ready for each other or because there's things about your own lives you know that don't mesh well together that would create imbalances so it's like you and your person are waiting for the right time for a union to take place maybe you are waiting on a divorce or your person of interest is waiting on a divorce or a separation to take place to come to you right there's also that thing about your own love dynamics right now are very much um, associated with what's right. So when a person does not feel right, Scorpio, really take that in consideration as a big, big, big warning from the universe that, look, if the person is not, is not right, don't accept it. If the person does not come right, don't accept it. I feel like it's very important because... It is about you also not falling into mistakes where passion and lusting over people um, might have make you believe uh, in something that was not real or make you minimize the importance that that wrong would have down the line. So right from the beginning, there needs to be this put together vibration about those you deal with because otherwise I feel like the relapsing to patterns that keep you stuck in this cycle is huge and I also say that because I feel like for others if you have this strong hunger and even anxiety when it comes to love matters and this might make you vulnerable to fall for the right uh, for the wrong I'm sorry um people or for just situations that end up being you know a trap um, there, there seems to be, uh, Scorpios that might be dealing strongly with Leos, Virgos, and Libras, energy in particular, or for some of you, the last three to four months have been very revealing, very eye-opening when it comes to all that I have just said. Uh, but as I was saying, there's a huge hunger, uh, to connect with someone or to move beyond current problems that you and a significant other might be having during the mid month i do feel that there might be an activation of a strong passion here lust for someone but again it's like you're holding yourself you're holding yourself as much as you can to avoid making past mistakes it's like you're waiting to see if this connection or this person that is activating this strong passion and lust is really up to your game up to you know 
the promise that it seems to hold or if it's just another mistake. Because I feel like some of you are very careful because you really don't want to make a mistake. So you're not as overpowered by emotions, especially, you know, sexual urges as before. But there's a tension that you're experiencing here with the Nine of Wands. So I feel like there's something here about you needing to just wait for this energy To, it's like there's something here about if you wait for this energy to pass, all right, for a decision process to be to be made here. Because I feel like if you keep bumping into anxiety as is possible here, if you keep experiencing a lot of anxiety around, should I do this? Shouldn't I do this? Should I invest in a connection? Should I break free from one? You know, if there's a lot of back and forth thoughts about if you should or shouldn't do something probably going to make a decision if you fall into it you're going to make a decision based on fear and anxiety and it won't be coming from the right again understanding of situations the correct understanding of situations so if possible um your advice here is to be strong is to hang on to your faith is to pray and ask for answers is to believe in your capacity to pull it it's like to pull through it especially for Scorpius also that this is about you're dealing with specific problems with a partner and in which you still want to save the connection there seems to be here a 50 50 chance of that being possible but it's not clear yet so there's a lot that it seems to, you know, be dependent on your faith, but also on your ability to stay strong um, in moments where temptation comes along or in moments where fear and anxiety are so strong that, again, it tempts you to do something that might end up being a mistake. Um, I do feel like it's not going to take that long, but... For some of you, Scorpio's time can be felt, you know, because of this anxiety propensity. I feel like time can still, even if it's not that, that you know, that much time that has been um, passing, you are going to feel as it is because your anxiety is, is telling you that you're missing on something or that something is, you know, taking too long. And in reality, it might not be. I also feel like there's something about this next week that is about reinforcing your strength. So for those that this is about you needing to or you wanting to attract new love, it seems that you're going to be able to do that, but your energy is still in this process of healing and, and finding answers um, for, for yourselves. So it's like you're not you're not clear, you're not ready, you're not available, you're not in the frequency uh, to attract new love yet because there seems to be a lack of space, healthy space um, for, a new uh, for a new love to, to come in. So this is really about inner work, closure, and a lot of reflection upon both your own mistakes or patterns you don't want to repeat but also in the sense of what makes you, you know, choose the wrong partners or the uh, people that end up having huge character flaws for you. Things that you can't, you know, really take in or you can't really sustain long term. So what makes you go for it? Um, if from the beginning there's already that sense that they're not right, I feel like there's a lot of answers that you're also seeking in that regard. So I hope you have a great mid-month. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.